Hey, what's up guys? It's time for a very late general hospital review. <laughs> I had my nieces and nephew. They came down from Indiana and I had them for the weekend. So we were just having some fun and very busy children. <laughs> and I, um, Eddie and I hosted an Easter egg hunt for them. And I did a vlog about it. So if you want to check that out later. Um, I uploaded it last night. I was up late editing. <laughs> but anyways, you didn't come here to hear about Easter or eggs. You came here for a journal hospital review. Now, I'm trying. I'm like, oh crap. I don't know if I remember what happened last week. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because I was doing my day's review and I'm like, oh, let me guess I'm gonna mess it up because I watched the episode today but I didn't watch your hospital today because the governor wanted to talk so it was interrupted so I might watch it tonight or I might watch it tomorrow I don't know we'll see when I get done with editing how awake I still feel <laughs> anyways for the big story of the week had to definitely go to Wiley's storyline which they just keep beating to death, and I guess my review mostly will be uh, a rant, as Wednesday and Thursday's episodes were just so, so horrible. Seriously, they definitely... <sighs> Sorry about that. My lovely cat, Tub Tub, was scratching at the door like he needed to come in all of a sudden. Just to sit in the window. And all the, there's like four windows in the living room and they're all open. But he has to come in and sit at the window in here. Anyways, like I was saying, Wednesday and Thursday's episodes were really horrible. They were just, they were fake flashbacks and... Flashbacks to when Caroline and Nell were younger and going through that. So, oh, goodness gracious. Sorry, my eyes are just been hurting today. I don't know what's wrong with this eye. It was hurting when I woke up and then I poked myself in this eye. <sighs> so, they've been hurting all day and giving me a headache. But anyway... So they had um, Joss, the actress that plays Jocelyn, be Car young Carly, and then they had uh, they had Valentine being Frank, and they had um, <laughs> Nina with a really horrible wig be Carly's mother. Um, uh, uh, what do you call her? Adoptive mom. Horrible way, horrible way. <laughs> and they were just like making up Carly's backstory because it's like she lived in a trailer and I thought she didn't like her adoptive mom, but they were seemed to have gotten along together. And then Carly was like, she was chasing her dreams and really she just wanted to fuck up people's lives. It was just horribly done. And then, and then they had all of these, um, um, what do you call it? Um, I guess you would call them flashbacks. Showing all these scenes that we've already seen, like, we've already watched through before. And <clears throat> it was just really horribly done. I'm like, they wanted to focus on Carly, okay? That's a bad idea because a lot of people don't care about Carly or they think that she's been on too much. Which is true, but then you focus on her and then you do this horrible hat job of going back into her past, which was been laid out when she first came and you rewrite that and then you show us all these things that we've already been through. Well, there was a couple I didn't see because I had stopped watching it, like the scene with Nell and, um... Jocelyn fighting. I guess that was during the time when I wasn't watching. 
because I um I was watching when Neff first came on and was fucking with Carly and Sunny. Then I stopped watching for a little while. I didn't see her and Michael hook up or anything. And when I started watching again, she was already pregnant and she was fucking with Carly. Put her in the cuckoo house. So I didn't get to see that scene. And I think there was one other one that I didn't get to see. But all the rest of them I saw before. And I know I saw a lot of people on Twitter who, and some people on Facebook too, that didn't like it. And I'm like, I didn't like it either. It was very poorly done, and it didn't really accomplish anything, but made people think. Uh, Nell had the other heart, um, part of the heart necklace that um, Nina has, so it makes us think now that Nell is really um, Nina's daughter, and, like, like, they did all of this. <laughs> <laughs> all this going in Carly's backstory and everything just to reveal that. And I'm like, why does Carly need to be a part of Nell and Nina finding each other as mother and daughter? <laughs> it's like, Sonny and Carly and Jason have to be involved in everybody's storylines. It's just like so pathetic. They're like three of the worst characters on the show. Like, seriously, they don't need to be involved in every storyline. They don't fit in. It just doesn't work. In my opinion. But, what do I know? But the big thing was Wiley. And, I don't know, doesn't want him to have the other surgery. And she wants to sue the hospital and um monica and bobby for malpractice and of course we know bobby she hid the um waiver or yeah the waiver that carly forged Nell's signature as she locked her on top of the roof covering up for her daughter her i was gonna say illegal dollar daughter <laughs> no the um Criminal, criminal, that's the word I'm looking for. Criminal daughter. And Monica, Monica didn't do anything, really. She just wanted to do his best for Miley. And I still don't get the whole surgery thing. If it was so life-changing for him, then why was it an elective surgery? So that's, that's my big thing with it. And then now he has the surgery and now he, I forgot what it's called, in his heart. So I'm like, if the surgery went so well, then why does he need that too? I don't know. They, I think the writers are just putting things up or whatever. And this bitch Willow, oh my fucking god. I'm so, so tired of her. Like, she just goes around, like, and putting herself in Wiley's life. The bitch, he's not your son. My fucking gosh. Even if he, even if you gave birth to him, you still gave him up. Okay, so you gave up all rights to him. But he's not your son. So you need to get the fuck out of it. I mean, like, why does... M Michael is such a pussy. He doesn't stand up to anybody. He doesn't tell Carly to back off, let him handle the shit. No. He doesn't tell Willow to shut the fuck up and stay out of it, does he? No. He just lets her come in and come up with ideas to try to get Nell to go away. When it's none of her fucking business. And then Sasha's all in it, too. Like, bitch, just because you're riding daddy's dick does not mean that you can have say-so in his child's life. It's just... Oh, those two are just so annoying. And then Chase wants to come and jump in, too. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Like, I used to like him, but now he's just as annoying as those bitches. It just doesn't make any sense why those three feel the need to be up Michael's ass in regards to Wiley. I'm mean, like, you're supposed to be his friend. I don't go around intercepting my friends how and telling them... What should be done with their kids? No. Do I? No. I let them take care of their kids the way that they want to take care of their kids. And how they want to deal with their baby daddies or baby mamas. That is up to them. 
I do not intercept and that's Jake. And Sasha Willow and Chase should not be involved in Michael's decisions regarding Wiley and how they're going to deal with now. It's none of their fucking business. It's all Michael. Michael is the one that should be taking care of all of this stuff. Ugh, it's just... It's just so annoying how the writers just write people to be involved in everybody's business. It's so fucking stupid. <sighs> and then, okay, they dragged out this baby switch storyline for over a year. And then now that it's finally revealed, they're still dragging all this crap out. It's just annoying. Part of me is just like, no, why don't you just agree to everything so everybody will leave you the fuck alone. And then... When get everything you want, joint custody and everything, or visit um visits or whatever Carly was talking about. Let them give it all to give you all of that, and you give them all of that, and then when the time is right, you strike and you go for it and get everything that you want and say motherfuck them and move somewhere else. That's why I think that Nell should do. But, of course, they're not going to have Mel do all that. Ugh. This stuff is just so horrible. It gives me a headache watching it. I seriously, I only watch General Hospital for certain characters and couples that aren't even together. Like, the only couple that I watch the show for that's actually together is Frizz. Franklin and Liz, and when's the last time they were on? Last time they were on, I think Franco was with Ava and Liz was with Nicholas. And I love Nicholas and Ava, but they like totally dropped their storyline and was not doing anything before their storyline. And of course, you know, I love Jalexis and they're not together, but he had um, Julian wanting to kick Neil's ass because he thought he was taking advantage of us. <laughs> So yeah, those are the only couples on the show that I like. Well, I like Cam and Joss, um, Cam and Jocelyn too. But Jocelyn's being a dumb bitch. Oh yeah, that's right. She um went to um Jason and was like, "You need to take care of Nell." I'm like, "What the fuck, bitch? You're a little child. What? Are you? You're too young to be going to a hitman and telling him to take care of business. It's so." Stupid. That's great parenting one on one by Carly and Jax is just horrible because he doesn't do anything to intercept any of this stuff. He just goes with the flow. Like seriously, he should be the one that has custody of Jocelyn and having Jocelyn live with him. Not Carly. She's a horrible mother and she's putting her child in horrible situations. She's on fucking house arrest because people want to kill her stepdad. <sighs> And people are talking about Nell being a bad mom. Really? Um, we've seen over the how many years how bad of a mom Carly is. But, oh, no. We haven't even seen Nell be a mom. So how can we say that she's going to be a bad mom? I'm sure she's going to have her faults. But, I don't know. She's not. Okay. Carly's no better than Nell. Is she? No. Carly, um fangirls are going to say that Carly's better than Nell. But, no, they're both horrible bitches. It's just Nell's more entertaining than Carly because Carly never knows how to shut the fuck up. Oh, that woman. Okay. <laughs> I know, I've just, like, been ranting for, like, 11 minutes. We'll have some, <laughs> another part of the video. So, this, <laughs> this is a lo really long vlog. And, <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot I stopped the video so there's like another part of the video I think it was like a couple minutes and I'll bet it's really long so <laughs> I'm done my rants and that's pretty much all that happened last week I don't really remember Monday Tuesday Nothing really happened, honestly. That's pretty much the summary of what happened. That's all I seem to be focusing on, boring stuff. Hopefully this week is a lot better with more variety of characters and storylines. One can hope. 
Anyways, what did you guys think of those special episodes on Wednesday and Thursday? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!